Hey, I got a question. How come nobody ever talks about how much black people don't riot? You know? I mean, all the shit they put up with every day for generations and without rioting. <laughs> Meanwhile, if a bunch of white people's hockey team loses, they burn it all down. I mean, white people catch all the shit for rioting, but really, given the circumstances, they almost never do it, you know? But you can only push the people so far, and apparently they draw the line at wanton public murder at the hands of the law. And I, for one, am not going to criticize that, okay? I don't care about the looting or the methodology or any of that shit. As far as I'm concerned, the blame for the situation in Minneapolis belongs solely to the Minneapolis police. Put simply, if you don't want your town ripped apart by riots, then, to paraphrase 90s Jim Carrey, stop murdering people, assholes. Shouldn't be that hard. The rest of us seem to manage. I can only think of two kinds of people who would murder someone in broad daylight in a public street. Cartoonish hitmen from gangster movies and your average everyday American peace officer. Now, you could take somebody who loves murder. You could find some serial killing skin suit wearing motherfucker from Sacramento probably and tell him, hey, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you murder that guy in the middle of that street in daylight. And he's gonna look at you like, are you out of your fucking mind? No. That would be crazy. I'm a murderer, but I'm not crazy. All right? But for a cop, it's Tuesday. They do it because they know they can. Who's going to stop them? Nobody. What's going to happen to them? Nothing. Even if the public gets pissed off, will you just dust off the trusty law enforcement? Oops, we killed a guy again. Handbook. Start going through that. First things first, discredit the victim. Right? With Arbery, it was, oh, well, he was trespassing probably. And with Floyd, it's, oh, well, he was resisting arrest, we say. You get other cops weighing in. Listen, if he says that he can't breathe, that means he can breathe, right? And they say all this shit as though any of it matters at all. That's the craziest part, is that you can tell they think they're proving some kind of point with that shit when all they're proving is that in the opinion of those sworn to protect and serve, resisting arrest or trespassing while black justifies murder. In their opinion, if the human being you're choking says, I can't breathe, the only appropriate response is to choke harder for a while. This is how they think. It's fucked up. Then once they're done shitting on the victim, they move on to defending the cop, right? It's always the same bullshit. Well, there might be some bad apples to slip up, sure, but uh, most cops do a good job. Civilians don't understand. We are underappreciated, underpaid, overworked. We perform a job that is very stressful, carries the immense burden and responsibility of serving the public. It's like, okay, so do teachers, motherfucker. And can you imagine if like every three months or so, some junior high PE teacher strangled a 13 year old black kid to death? And then after that, if the superintendent and principal held a press conference where they were like, well, we've put Mr. Howard on administrative leave while we investigate fully, but we can tell you that the student in question was known to be involved in some pretty graphic bathroom graffiti, so. You know how crazy that would be if that happened once? And yet the cop version of that scenario plays out with such regularity, it's probably in the fucking farmer's almanac. It's ridiculous. They make excuses for what's completely inexcusable. They give us answers to questions nobody's fucking asking. The only answer to this shit is accountability, actual accountability. And in this case, for the first time I can ever remember, I've actually seen some of it from other cops. Sheriffs in Houston, Texas, Tennessee, Georgia, all came out publicly strongly denouncing the actions of the cops in this case. And buddy, when you have multiple Southern sheriffs saying to you, hey, maybe go a little easier on the blacks, y'all. You have fucked up. And whether it was that or the riots or a combination or whatever, today they finally did what they should have done at the outset and they put that murderous motherfucker in jail, which I guess is a start. But if they want to put these fires out for good, they got to round up the three assholes who were with him that day and more importantly, make sweeping, fundamental changes to the culture of their order. That or learn to breathe smoke.